taking the back way today because I just probably uh, violated the driver act. Someone has their mom's Jeep and obviously it looks like they just got their license recently. Three of them are in the car and he was trying to parallel park. So we started out parallel to the curb, about 10 feet out, tried it again. And I stopped him, explained to him how to do it like a friend of mine explained to me. My friend Vinny, who is since gone and is my little brother of my existence, not for real, uh, taught me how to parallel work because we used to go to San Francisco all the time and boy did I suck. <laughs> so he didn't really drive a lot. But he knew how to parallel, parallel park like a mofo. So, he taught me, it took me twice, and I've been able to parallel park like a mofo ever since. So, <laughs> it looked like he listened to me the second time. So, I decided to go in this direction because I didn't want them to think I was watching them, especially with the gimbal up. So, hi guys, time for the pyramid. Time for the pyramid. Hello, pyramid world. <sighs> the down is down part's almost done. I guess I have to reinforce it because unfortunately it's 1970s concrete. <clears throat> and that's not good. So they were working on reinforcing it. Let's see. Ah, ah, ah. Doing it left-handed because I didn't find why is it always you lose everything, but you find one thing when you're looking for something else. I think that's a big question for today. Do you think that's why they found this society? Because they were looking for something else? I think that would be the big question of today. So, I lost my little wrist gimbal thingy, or wrist holder thingy, and now I have at least my gimbal back with what I hope will become a new uh, sort of thingy. Um, it was designed for an iPhone, but since I have an Android, oh wait! He was talking and they closed the door. I wasn't even ready yet. Oh my god. I love it. Woo! <laughs> so yeah, it's from one of those MagSafe things, but you can put the ring on it and use it that way. And since half my life is Velcro and the other half of my life is magnets, don't ask one of these days, I'll show you the house. Um, I still I can't tell it. That was funny. <laughs> um, I'm trying the new one because then I have an extra one. The one thing I have learned in my life is to have extras. And since I only had the... I think they're arguing. Do you miss your friends? Do you miss your family? Do you wish you were with your family right now? Trying to figure out what to have for dinner? Or what you just ate for lunch and why? Do you have friends who are probably thinking about you at this moment and miss you and wish you were sitting there wondering why you ate lunch or that lunch at least? Do you miss anybody? You've got emotions. You're just not allowed to show them. You have questions. You're just not allowed to ask them. We have a wonderful public library where you can ask them. It's a couple of blocks down the street. You can clandestinely read books. God knows every kid did that or every teenager because they didn't have a, a library card or didn't have a phone back then when I was little and uh, would just pretend that they're just hanging out and cruising because back in the day you could hang out at the library when you were a kid. It was like a daycare. Well, at least it was in Oakland. So do you miss doing that? Do you wanna know how much do you owe assorted credit card companies? Do you want to know if you can get out of that when you leave? If you have a real paycheck, uh, you can do that. Oh God, that song again. <laughs> that song's been playing everywhere. I should get my Spotify up. Yes, new and exciting things. I was looking at my, um, oh, it's my Spotify, that phone, I think it is. Um, no, it's got to be on this one. But no, wait for me. Um, I was looking for comments on my YouTube. 
and I realized that that bitching and moaning was into one off exercise that was sort of happening every day so I gotta stop yes I like being perky I've always liked being perky dead air dun 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 Ten hours of white noise. Can't copyright that. <laughs> oh, oh, and I was looking at the Historical Society today. Guess what? They have to take care of all of this because they found out that old glass actually has the, um, almost the equivalent of insulating properties that new glass has because old glass is harder, or not harder, but thicker. So you can't change the windows on any of these so they have to fix these because they're ugly it's a whole freaking division of the california government uh, website uh how to do it how to have one i almost got the house i grew up in declared because once you get it declared you have to pay a certain attention to it so yes scientology i'm teaching i'm cheating yes i'm cheating i'm teaching because i had to look this all up because my neighbor didn't like me so she wanted to have my house declared a craftsman and at the time, hello, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> That's the guy walking across the street. He's the new one. Yeah, I don't think he's the same one. So um, anyway, my neighbor tried to get my, the house I grew up in uh, um, landmarked. So we couldn't do anything to it because I wanted to like add additions and stuff to it. I could before. Uh, unfortunately, Oakland hit the ground. You know, your shade tech is a little off. That's not the, like, right reputation you want going for you, do you? Your curtains are crooked. I wouldn't put up a crooked curtains in my house, even if my cat did it. So you might want to fix that so you guys look presentable. Then you have a tag. You have both tags hanging out. You don't want to present a goofy like exterior. Maybe you should turn the curtains around and uh, do the uh, spring rods in the other direction so you don't have uh, tags coming out. And maybe they can find out how much you spent on those shears. It does matter to people, unfortunately. Even you guys. <laughs> so, oh, and I, I'm missing, aren't I? Okay, sorry. And I will try to figure out how to get the white to black. Hi, Fluffer, thank you. There's one of my, um, uh, uh, Lucky Charms. Yeah, the brain's a little, well, the ride here was a little creepy. Uh, there's at least one Greyhound bus on the side of the road and another truck almost spun out in front of me. Do you miss your friends? Do you wish you had friends you could miss? Do you think they don't miss you? They do. Just think about it. Just text somebody that you have an old phone number to. Or go to the library and talk to somebody on Messenger. You'd be surprised how much they'd want to see you. All of the declared people you know probably miss you. Doesn't that suck? <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be with those friends in this beautiful weather that's all the way probably up and down the state? I know Los Angeles is gorgeous. I know you guys know Los Angeles is gorgeous, don't you? You can't lock those. It's a fire hazard. <laughs> Unfortunately, I used to work in an old building in San Francisco, so I know what their fire hazards are. Neener, neener. I'm just a little old lady. <laughs> Who knows a hell of a lot, unfortunately. So, let's see, now I have to go back. Hi, Fluffer. Sitting on defense. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, oh, you've seen me before live? Cool. Lorraine Barrett, I think. This is San Francisco. San Francisco, open your golden gates. That's all we all know. That's all we know from that song is that's it and uh, I left my heart because Tony Bennett would not stop singing it for Shazam Scientum music yeah look listen do you hear that that's white noise I can literally stand in front of a blurring blaring speaker and you won't hear it isn't that awesome I think it's so cool <laughs> and Jess Paldessa taught me that because she didn't like going uh, mute. And I don't do mute, so, um, because if I'm not doing it, it's not copyrighted. 
So if somebody would come up to me and yell Scientology, blah, 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 in my phone, it'd be like, that's nice, it's not copyrighted, and I can, you know, appeal it, haha. <laughs> and I'm not monetized right now, so I'm really in the fun zone at the moment. Uh, I don't intend to do ads unless it gets a little too expensive to keep crossing the bridge every day um, and parking. I'd say it's about 16, 18, 20 dollars a day probably, because that's including gas. Uh, we're not the brightest people here in California, so we either get electronic vehicles that, you know, probably shut down in the middle of five, which is a real long highway that goes from Sacramento to Los Angeles, or we buy cars that need gas. And my car is old and I love it, and I don't want to get rid of it, so it eats gas. And it's expensive. Ugh. And in California, we don't. So, am I unstable? Does anybody know me pixelating right now? It's a question. I mean, I've got to put this in for the FCC. So, it says it's unstable due to weak network connection. Am I pixelating or am I fine? Oh, I am Rob707. Did you see? Oh, that's a shame. Well, I'm here every day but Sunday. I might be coming Sundays and not doing like Thursdays or something. Oh no, Thursday's a day, isn't it? Oh my God, it's after two o'clock. I hope you guys did well. You know, you have to do well on your numbers or you won't exist anymore, even though you will exist because this building's probably paid for for a few more years. So you have to sit here and be berated by your elders. Did you know that Miscavige doesn't run Scientology? It said so on the uh, lawsuit that Leo went Remini has. He said, oh no, no, I don't know what Scientology is. He's just, was it the chairman of the board? So he doesn't run any day-to-day -day activities. So even he doesn't want to have anything to do with you guys. Isn't that a plumper? Uh, did you see the, the Greyhound? I am Rob. And well, no, the guy, the truck was in front of me. Hi, Fuzzy Ping Angus. That's my other. Lucky charm. <laughs> Am I pixelating? See, I'm sort of waiting here now. Well, there's nothing going on back there. Um, oh, yeah, that. See that? That's supposed to be sticking out for, it's weird too, for visually impaired people. It's supposed to be bright and right, uh, bright and offset so they can read it. And it also should be like here, because it's supposed to be 60 inches high and I'm 63. 60, well, I was 63 when I was 14, 62 now. So, yes, yes, my people, confab with each other. <laughs> Do you miss your friends? Do you miss that you could be in college right now complaining about getting a master's? You know, you can start your college in Oakland by getting your associates at Laney College. They're doing it for free. So all you'd have to pay for is BART and your regulars. Is it out here? I thought I just heard it. Maybe they have it somewhere. And I didn't get to see my person who, the regular person who closes the doors for me, maybe because they were nice to me yesterday, they got in trouble. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot. That, on the very bottom, if you look at my building, is, going, is a courtyard and has chairs now because I saw it when I went to the janitor uh, protest yesterday. That's the little bitty uh, piece I did because they were in the middle of the financial district in the middle of um, rush hour and nobody was bothering them. And then the Palestine people had been there and had written chalk on the ground. I keep, that's one of the things I keep forgetting. You know, that's more important than the FCC as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I need to get spray paint chalk because it doesn't, it's not windy. It's weird, it's not windy. I know the minute I make a sign, it'll be windy, but maybe we should try to make signs. Daiso has incredible stuff to make signs with. On a beautiful day like this, when there's a super bloom at the airport in Los Angeles, don't you wish you were landing in it to go somewhere on the beach or go to Hollywood, not there in Hollywood, but maybe the Wax Museum in Hollywood, or going to uh, Man's Chinese to go see a movie just because it's a fancy theater? Uh, go see the space shuttle. Once upon a time, Van Gogh's exhibit was there. I was there for that. Um, so there'll probably be a super bloom around here too. So the California poppies like push themselves forward and say, hey, look at us because we're orange. So don't you wish you could do that without having to ask? 
Don't you wish you had time to do that because you have a second job that you have to have? Because if you did, society would let you be homeless? Ask them. If you don't get in trouble, I'll be surprised, but ask them. Knowledge is power. That's the way you have to think of it. I ignorance is not. Ignorance is weakness. Do you really want to be ignorant in the world you're in? Don't you want to know about the world you're in? Sorry, a guy riding his bicycle backwards and enjoying himself. Welcome to San Francisco. Dead air. Do you wish you would know what would happen at the end of the bridge to total consciousness? It's not going to be what you think it is, unfortunately. You are a Thetan, yeah. When you go clear, you get Velcro balls called body Thetans, and they're on the inside and outside of you, and they stick to you, and then you have to get rid of them because you didn't go really clear. Then you hit the OTs and have a really good time. And somewhere along the way, you find out about Zeno! <laughs> He's a dark overlord that dropped a bunch of Thetans into volcanoes, and then the DC-8s came by and dropped hydrogen bombs, but that's not important right now. Unfortunately, what it did was scatter the Thetans all over the world, and when you clear up, more take your body. I swear to God, that is the theory. That is the theory you are working under that a man in the, a white man in the 50s dreamt up so he could get back at the psychiatry and psychology world because they didn't like his Dianetics. Now, isn't that a way to go? Do you really want to be supporting an idea of someone who hasn't come back yet, 21 years, and support all of his buildings and his tax shelters uh, and the campuses he has around the country, there are about 22 from what I hear, that have a full-blown archive that are killing the environment because, you know, to keep an archive like that cool takes a lot of air conditioning. And they're huge, about the size of football fields. And they also have a 3,500 square foot house for him. Hi, how are you? Yeah, doing good. How have you been doing so far? So far, so good. Unfortunately, I'm telling them about the overlords. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, his name is Zenu, and he doesn't like you guys. <laughs> I think that is my guy. He won't ask anyway, they're not allowed to ask questions. Really, she was here this morning? They were here this morning. I, did, I don't find out, I don't know, so I say they, I'm polite. Um, yes, rock on. I've got to go look at Ashley when I get home. Yeah, because I have to look at it. I listen to the Sciento on the way home. Um, I'm really good about that because my 40-year-old car plays DVDs because my brother was a nerd. <laughs> it was his car first. I bought it from him. And he wants it back now, even now. Um, so I've, got, I've trained myself not to look at the pictures. But I have a feeling I'll look at Ashley's pictures. So I definitely got to go do that. And rock on, Ashley. You made it here. Good. See, we need, I would take the one person at a time if we could do 12 or 16 hours. <laughs> it's like, sometimes I just don't want to do this. It's like, not even boring. It's like, um, how, well, how would I put it? It's like throwing fuzzy mousse at bedspreads. Gotcha, Ashley. Or you got you fuzzy. Ha ha. Moose, moose, moose. When you've been here doing this as long as I have, you get regulars, and Lord knows I worked in nightclubs for 24 years, because I'm still working, or still was working a gig, and you get to know your regulars, because once in a great while, a regular just needs to be let in. <laughs> so, I'm sorry you haven't heard about Xenu. He did take Thetans from another planet, galaxy, time zone, I don't know. And then brought him over here supposedly trillions of years ago when Earth didn't exist and dropped him down volcanoes that don't exist anymore. So they must have closed up and I bet you there are Thetans in there. And um, then came by with the equivalent of a DC-8 because this world that he took them from was exactly like our world in the 50s. You know, when he wrote these things. And then he dropped hydrogen bombs 
that DC eights carried because that world was uh, equivalent to ours, which is really weird that he couldn't even make up a world. Uh, and then blew up the volcanoes because I guess he didn't like Earth. And so then all the Thetans rolled around until humans came. Because humans wouldn't come for millions or trillions of years after that. So I wonder what they did between then and now. Someone should make a story. <laughs> See if it'll fly. Oh my god. I'm going to make a story and then I'm going to tell uh, the, the scavenge executives that I, I found something in a archive. Uh, he was up here. He had to be up here at some time if Crowley's here. But people say he didn't meet Crowley. That is one of those things. Back and forth and back and forth. Um, because Crowley was in uh, where the painted ladies are. Those four... Uh, um, the full house houses, they still exist in that. You want to talk about a homeowners association? Oh my God. You can't even like paint a stair a different color there. I think even the inside the houses have to be the same. So, oh yeah, the rust and the rot. So now that I'm hooked up to the historical society and this guy's been a, uh, his national historical monument since 1971. So, you know, uh, probably getting a hold of them would be a good idea because this fence is rotting and breaking away and it can be saved because it needs to be painted that's it so hi Gary Ann oh my god everybody is here <laughs> Zeno freezer where there you are hi hi how are you me and all my moose and squirrels say hi I'm doing Bullwinkle and Rocky again oh my god and yes my my family world has not changed I just refuse to uh, deal with it anymore and I think the thing that made me laugh today was that my green tea lemonade which I have during the day is in a coffee cup in my car instead of a Starbucks cup I have everything insulated and I have everything with lids because I found a 10 year old cat couldn't tell it was cat spit for 10 years but boy was she not amused when I started putting lids on everything so <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna, we're just going to start calling you moose uh, handcuffs, aren't we? Fuzzy. I just think it's fuzzy. Oh, uh, let's see. Did you have a car at home that you could drive? Do you want to drive that car out now? Because it is a little way to the beach. You would have to catch a bus or get a limo bus to take the whole crowd with you. Uh, and then you can have bonfires and make goofy things like hot dogs and... Um, Chicken skewers and s'mores. I don't understand s'mores. Uh, and I'll hang out and talk about, you know, stuff. When you're at the beach in a bonfire, you just get existential. Hi. It's so cute. Sorry, puppy break. It was an oodle of some kind. <laughs> you know that oodles do uh, shed now because they've been bred so badly. So don't you wish you could be doing that? Uh, wrapping yourself up in a blanket and say it's mine, neener, neener, things like that. You know, if you could do, you can do that if you just come out. Nothing wrong with that. And to help get out, it's 727-266-5797. It is the sptvfoundation.org. Yes, we decided to do something with the website or the name just so it'll stick in your head. It has nothing to do with evil. We don't believe in evil. We're sorry. SPTFoundation.com. I'm not doing the other one today. I'm mad. That's how you can help get help getting out of here. Hell, I'll help you getting out of here. You want to step out of these doors after some questions to make sure you're not a plant. I can take you and we can start getting help for you. It's not bad. The real world is sort of cool. <laughs> it's got an abbreviation called IRL. That's not mine. That's everybody's abbreviation. It's called in real life. Real life isn't bad. It's actually enjoyable. And you get to learn things out here. And you can ask even a stranger a question and they'll answer you. They won't try to hit you. They won't try to talk over you. They'll answer your question. Believe it or not, we're not here to get you. We're here to, well, we are here to get you, but we're here to get you out, not to get you as an in. <laughs> yes, you should change your name. 
except, except nobody will get it and they'll keep talking about your handcuffs. <laughs> Do you wish you were seeing the seals at Pier 39? We have big seals that hang out there and make lots of noise. They're really cool. And then you could talk about more existentialism because you're looking at animals that are enjoying themselves and laying in the sun, not being productive because you don't have to be productive 24 hours of the day. Your sleep is not meant to be productive. It's meant to restart your brain and you do need at least six hours of it. It used to be eight, then it was seven and now it's six this year. So you can get by on less sleep, but three or four hours don't cut it. It doesn't give your time a brain to reset. It doesn't make you know what you're doing very well. It can cause accidents. Um, you need to reset your brain. And to reset your brain, you probably need to be doing something else so you have time to reset your brain. Because doing volunteer work here doesn't get you anywhere. Except farther up that it makes your freeloader debt more and it's not something they can enforce when you get out anyway because it's not registered anywhere. So, and it's, you just say bye-bye because you probably wouldn't be coming to Scientology anyway. I've heard of people who waited a couple of years to settle their freeloader debt so they could become a public. They didn't like it then either. So maybe you can just, you know, forget your freeloader debt when you leave and make sure you don't do more than one course on account because they won't give you your account back either. Because there's this really weird twist that you have to be there to get it, but if you're declared, you can't be on the property. Like that one? Nobody's gone to court for that one yet. I'm sure the ACLU would have fun with that one. It's the American Civil Liberties Union Lawyers. They're for equal rights and not bad things that happen to correct the bads that are happening here that they recognize still happen now. Like maybe your society, it isn't necessarily a religion because a religion offers charity to the outside world and you don't. That's why religions were started. So they could brainwash people into coming into their religion and so they would give them charity. Problem is they give them charity for as long as they needed it because that's the way you did it. But you guys aren't even offering charity. So how do you expect to get new people that aren't born in? So hell, you guys don't give charity to your inside people either. There's this guy named Bob Ferris. His daughter lives in Sacramento and she wants him back because she thought he was dead. They told her he was dead. Now, isn't that a really bizarre thing to latch onto? Is a society that tells you your relatives are dead if you're on the outside? What do they do with those remains? Are they in an ash pile somewhere? If we're lucky, they're put in the ocean. At least they'll have some kind of like memorial. And you can tell them all when you guys are done hiding things from them. So you should look into that. That's not hard to do. It's nice. Is the big reason that society exists is to not be nice and to be above it all and to feel like everybody else is below you and to be condescending to everybody you see, that's not exactly a society that'll bring you forward to total enlightenment. Enlightenment includes being nice, being compassionate, being empathetic, you know, all the normal things that you're supposed to be as a human. Does that suck or what? <laughs> Carrie Ann, I have a possum that sits in our living or hangs in our living room. I keep looking for moose when I'm out because yes, we do collect moose too. Uh, yeah, they're probably all hiding in the back room, but I have a, a stage voice and I have a couple in front of me. So I, it's just booming through it because the doors keep opening. Um, and there is somebody, there are at least two people in there. So they're probably higher ups. So. I know. Isn't it fun to watch people protest? I love watching Jess because she's just, she's fun. When I'm in a mood, I love watching LA streets because he's just like, yeah, yeah, get the man, get the man. Uh, I love Tori because she's teaching me history that I need to know. And she's teaching it from the inside in a really interesting place. Um, believe it or not, I'm starting to like Zach. I, I sort of thought like 
everybody else, Zach was just, you know, journalism guy. Um, let's see, Mindy's fun to listen to her hike. I listened to her hike today. It was so fun. <laughs> it's like, woman, you won't take water? Don't they have anything like condensed water or something? <laughs> Um, let me think who else well confident Crince of course oh my god that man is going to be writing after this the, the uh, uh, mini streets things are hilarious uh, I like Laurie Plays when I see her just started watching her and today she was stuck in the airport in bad weather so I had to give up because it was skipping it's after 2 o'clock so does that mean you guys are taking a coffee break because you made your numbers or are you all talking about how to fix everything because you didn't make your numbers? Your boss should be there, but I don't see his car. Maybe I do see his car. No, I didn't think it was a Jetta. It's something else. Oh, they parked it. Yay, they parked the car. The guys parked the car. Hopefully I taught him. Like I said, my friend taught me while he was doing it. <laughs> And when I get out of that sort of like can't parallel park, I just need to take a break and either get ticked off at my, get petty with myself, as uh, Swoop would say. Yes, I watch other things occasionally. Um, and just go, I can do this and I can. I've even gotten good about people watching me while I do it. I bought some powder. Yes, yes, totally. Stephen Wright, I miss him so much. <laughs> I love him. Oh my God, he was like my favorite yeah, deadpan I mean, I, I, comic I, I, in the well, world. And we said the powdered water thing constantly in the 90s. Yes, yes, Carrie Ann, it is, she, they are. I mean, uh, Tori's a little, you know, rep repetitive, but then again, I always start with, do you miss your family? So who am I to complain? So let's see, yes, I'm going back. Okay, uh, yeah. cause the bodyguard is watching and he said, you know, did you see this and did you see that? It's always the time I'm looking away. So, but yeah, the white thing, it's sort of why I sit here on this thing too. So, it's getting to be rabbit season, which we call um, tourist season here. So it's like, I'm hearing people behind me. Let me think now. Do you miss McDonald's? Are you allowed to have McDonald's? Are you allowed to have Taco Bell? Because everybody on the planet loves Taco Bell, except for me. Uh, when was the last time you've been to a movie at a movie theater? Is this like, There's definitely yeah. walking distance to oh, one theater at the Embarcadero. Used to be a fancy theater, uh, independent fancy theater, she used to call them and go watch the movies that nobody else would watch. Uh, but I think it's a real theater now. Um, you can walk and get sourdough bread. It's a couple blocks away. And it's one of the best mother loaves in the city. Uh, wouldn't you like to be doing it with someone visiting you if you're not from here? Wouldn't you like to be showing them around and then making them sleep with you in your studio apartment except for the other three or four people who live there now? Um, let's see. Don't you just want your family visiting? Don't you want to see your family? Don't you want to make your family come even if they're a different org or you go to them just to say hi and tell them that you love them? You know, we're, they're, you guys are all programmed to be children or adults, and they're not. It doesn't work that way. Their brains aren't developed. Their heads aren't even big enough. So how can they have a fully developed brain if it's like pushing up against your skull? That causes brain damage. So unless you guys all have brain damage, which I very much doubt, children are children and learn things as they go along as their brains grow and develop. So, did you feel like a child when you were a child? Even if you belong to this society, did you feel like a child? Or did you feel like half the stuff in your world was going above your head? That's not fair to do to children because then they wind up really confused as they get older and being auditors at the age of 12 or 13 isn't gonna help them either because they don't understand what people are telling them. That's just simple physical way that you are. So anyway, about those sales. Are you all getting in trouble for not making your sales numbers? Do you ever wonder why you're in a society that all it cares about is their sales numbers? Don't you wish you had other things to worry about besides sales numbers and courses? Do you guys have any kind of like uh, tea parties or uh, talk around the circle parties? 
or are you not allowed to talk to each other because then you'll be telling each other secrets that shouldn't be secrets anyway. All I have to say is Xenu. Just remember, remember the, Z, the name Xenu. You find out at OT3 if any of you guys go past clear because it can take forever and a lot of money to get past clear. Uh, the, yeah, the volunteer work is not really volunteer work because they'll charge you for it when you leave. So if you're under the impression that you're working on courses for free while you're volunteering, you're wrong. Uh, you can probably find that in the internet if you go to a library and look it up. There are a lot of things you can find. There's a reason that they don't cover you guys and they don't cover us. We're not good news. We're boring. And you guys just manipulate the system. And so instead of talking about you even in a negative way they don't talk about you at all as far as they're concerned you don't exist we barely exist that's when you guys exist is when we exist and that's not necessarily a good thing either in existentialism <laughs> I had to say that I was just like oh my god <laughs> uh, that's what I asked them can you go to the restroom without asking or at least telling everybody where you're going so they know isn't that a little weird do you have to ask if you can go get a coffee across the street? It's literally a hundred feet away from here. Or not even ask if you can have a coffee. Just tell them you'll be right back. Can you say that? Do you have to go like on a, go find whoever the highest up is and ask them if you can leave it or if you can step out for a minute? Or can you ask the person literally next to you and go, can I go out for a minute? And you know, if they say why, you say you want to go to Happy Donuts. There's a really great donut place, two blocks up, and it's really good. You should try it. <laughs> <sighs> there was something I was going, oh, I think I saw a bald eagle today. Yes, I think I saw a bald eagle in West Oakland. Um, we have at least one nest in the Bay Area, if not two or three on the mountains. So I think he was, I assume it's a he because it's mating season. He was going around getting things for his woman because she sits on the nest and goes, service me. <laughs> That's the way it should be. Yes, my old funny days when I said all men belong in a closet. <laughs> but I am a child of, I was born in 67. So I saw the feminist movement when I was in the 70s, in the 80s. I saw the breakfast club. <laughs> Actually, no, I was thinking that on the way here because I heard a song. Uh, the 80s were defined by pretty much three movies. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 16 Candles, and Body Double. Go look at them. Body Double's a little spicy, but it would be the epitome of 80s Hollywood. Hi, MDM Media? <laughs> MD Media 18. What, is that when you got it? Or, no, I shouldn't be bratty. One of mine's has an 18 on the end of it. <laughs> See, you guys are so cute. Okay, let's see, I've got my list out. And actually maybe easier without the, the goofy arm thing. Um, have you learned anything today that doesn't have to do with your coursework? Does everything you have to read have to be about your coursework? Can you read anything else besides that? Can you read a newsletter or do you have to read your coursework? Um, it's a cult. I think she was maybe here for them. It's an education of sorts, but it's not real knowledge. Because real knowledge isn't until you can use it on something other than someone who's in your society. So, unless you can talk about it with people... Look at a spider web. Um, unless you can talk about it with people on the outside without having trying to get in here, get them in here and buy a book. That's not really passing on knowledge. That's scamming a customer. You want to be out. Like I said, you can even come to me and I'll take you. Most of us would probably lose our minds, but we take care of it because as far as we're concerned, the humans are more important than the dogma. And he's not coming back. It's been over 21 years. He's not coming back and unfortunately left a misogynistic society behind him. And it's not the way I think that children or women should be treated, or even young people. So 
that goes along the gender uh, across the gender lines because he's not they're not very good to young people either you guys so if you're like 18 to 22 boy you're probably having a really good time right now you could be in college you could be starting a career you could be uh taking care of your family you could be hanging out playing badminton on a park green somewhere we have lots of parks around here they're gorgeous we have golden gate park which is really cool supposedly it's bigger than central park nobody talks about it though probably because they're too afraid of the earthquakes or something have you guys felt any of the earthquakes yet you know if your body tells you to go home when you feel an earthquake get out of california we can help you get out the number is 727-266-5797. It is the sptvfoundation.org. The, not the, sorry, sptvfoundation.com. And anything probably around the SPTV Foundation, you're one of your number one people who started this uh, that you guys don't like, bought all of the domains or some of the domains so you can accidentally do it you can look it up in google it doesn't take that long for google to find something so um and the question if you look up on google and the page you're looking for there are usually questions in the middle of the page like how big is this uh blah blah uh who started blah blah and they're just questions that you can hit buttons to go down to so if you want to know what are bad things that are said about scientology hit the button or put it in the search go halfway down and you'll see questions being asked like that why aren't we in the media look it up and then go down the uh, halfway and then go down to where the questions are there's a reason you guys aren't interesting we're not interesting so and the only way we get interesting is if you guys do something bad so if anybody starts unfortunately finding out the bad things you guys are going to want to get out of there because it's not your fault that they're happening at this point in the Scientology game, it's not your fault that this is happening. You are just, now, well, it's your fault for perpetuating it. So you're the ones who keep going with it. It's not necessarily a dogma you want to attach yourself to because you don't get to be a fully formed person. You have to be what they tell you. And what they tell you is not necessarily nice. Do you really want it to be that way? You know, you can always go up to somebody that looks nice, ask to use their phone, and call your family call your friends call whoever would probably help you get out of this situation because the situation isn't necessarily good you shouldn't belong to a society that makes you feel like you're afraid and beaten down i know this isn't necessarily the right thing to say but maybe sometimes that part has to be taken out and put it aside and put in big neon letters and says get out if you can't ask a question so like i said 727-266-5797. And maybe one of the more higher people up in your society are hanging out in the room on the other side of the doors because they find what I say interesting. It's not hard. You'd see your friends, family, have goofy picnics. You can get real jobs for your organizing skills because people love that, even though they don't talk about that. You can start on Amazon Turk which is a place that gives you a little online jobs for like a dollar a piece or something, but these are like testers for companies to see if you fulfill what they want, like time trials and things like that. So with your guys' organizational skills and data feedback, people would like what you're doing. You can go up this ladder at any company you work at. Um, Remember, think about it. What have you learned today that doesn't have to do with your coursework? It's just a simple question. I hear a flat tire, but I guess not. Knowledge is power. Words are not your enemy. People are not your enemy. Finding higher ideals are not your enemy. The ideals here are pretty stagnated. And of course, David Miscavige says he does not run Scientology. He said that today in court. Well, he didn't say it. His lawyers presented it as a written response. So if you don't believe that, he said it. I saw it. And
And since I'm not evil, because I don't believe in evil, I'm not lying. Sorry. I don't like lying. It's boring. You always get caught. Oh yeah, when you have to be someone from the past to expand your horizons and make it legitimate that you've been here over and over. You can't be Marilyn Monroe, there are too many of those. You can't be Christ, there are too many of those. Which is very weird because you don't believe in Christ. Um, can't be Albert Einstein because there are too many of those. You would have to be just Jane Doe off the street. That's not very fun, is it? It's probably safer because then you won't get audited every 10 seconds and have to pay for it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, no, San Francisco during the day, especially in the... Uh, financial district is beyond safe no one will touch me here that and I have everything connected to a wrist so if it gets knocked out of my hand it'll just uh, fall into my wrist okay I was talking when I was reading that okay MDM media <laughs> I'm sorry I know it's not drugs uh, thank you thank you so much I, I wouldn't mind this subscribers I also wouldn't mind people who come and do this that is actually the uh, priority is people coming out to do this so that would be fantastic big kiss actually no big hug because hugging people drives them nuts I don't do that anymore since COVID it really sucks I used to do that in my family uh, I don't have the bodyguard with me today he's with me on the weekends or uh, if it takes a day off um, because companies have, you know, the required time to take off and stuff like that. Uh, or if he has uh, some kind of meeting or something near San Francisco, he would be here. Um, but I am literally on a wonderful, beautiful corner, kitty corner to the Transamerica building. And this is like Knob Hill here, so they protect it like a mofo. And um, the biggest bad thing around here would be the barbershops. They have like old fashioned barber shops here, but it's North Beach, which is a lot of pizza, Mediterranean, Chinese, because it's a block away from Chinatown. Um, and then lawyers. Oh yeah. Actually, we're in a good neighborhood because there's nothing but lawyers here and they wouldn't want to have a bad neighborhood. Do you wish you were having pizza down the street? Or maybe I heard the burgers across the street are really good. Don't you wish you could afford maybe just more than just one a month? How much money do you have to spend on yourself? Or is that supposed to be a bad thing? Because, you know, then it'll evoke emotion of happiness and contentment. Uh, that's what humans really want from the world is happiness and contentment. And weirdly enough, it would probably get rid of a lot of bad emotions. So that's what you strive for is happiness and contentment, not being over people and trying to get them to conform to what your society believes in so you can advance to another plane of existence that unfortunately might not exist so not that there's anything wrong with that except for the fact that you're using children need to get the children off the stage need to stop brainwashing them at a very young age uh, I don't like watching children walk in the back door. Um, everybody I know doesn't like children walking into Scientology because they're not learning anything except a 70 year old dogma. Doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't they be learning about things in the future in modern times? I mean real future, not the matrix future that doesn't exist. I mean the future where they can become somebody and do something and it will be relatively the same as it is now. It won't be some bunch of FBI looking dudes beating up each other. So that's what you want to do with the children nowadays is get them exposed to the real world. Not the bubble that exists in yet another bubble called San Francisco, which is in another bubble called the Bay Area. We are a rather unique area around here and people need to experience a lot more. But to be the furthermost in a bubble is not the way to go. You need to know how to experience life so you know what to do in case something bad happens. And that's for everybody. It's not just you guys. Everybody should figure out what's going to be bad that might happen so they can be prepared for it. 
Oh, really? Tell him uh, me and the public cat said happy birthday so he can go, Mom. <laughs> so, yes, uh, I have to watch and see what you did. Uh, since I've been in this weird mood for three weeks, I didn't realize it. Um, I've actually started watching, like, other things instead of other things and then checking out to Gilded Age. Stuck on that again. I don't even like, I didn't even like, like, the ages that Downton and Guild existed. And that's the funny part. So it's like, I'm a modernist. So I was a Kubrick person. You know, I've even got chairs that match the Kubrick life. And I totally got into uh, Downton and the Gilded Age. Ugh. I'm from California. Can't you tell? No, I take that back. I'm from the Bay Area. Can't you tell? I'm more eccentric than humanly possible. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, now, is there a funeral you missed? Are you allowed to attend funerals? Is there a funeral of somebody who was very, very, very important to you that you didn't get to see on the last day, even though you can't admit that you missed them? And so you didn't go, you didn't get to see your family, you didn't get to eat cake and sandwiches, and you couldn't even tell them about why you were there. Think if they let you go, you guys could like tell them about Scientology. Or they'd shut you up and you'd exist. But it'd be a good reason to get out of the org for a couple of days, you know, that you have to attend a funeral that's very important to you. I've unfortunately heard that they don't even tell you guys when your close family dies. That's not very good. You should walk out that door and come with me. That should be my new one. You should walk out that door and come with me. Or you can call 727 Oops. 266-5797. The SPTVFoundation.org. SPTVFoundation.com. And I think there's another two. And you can go look these puppies up at the library because they won't know that you were there. Just clean your history before you leave your computer. That's it. This is part of Silicon Valley. We have more computers than you can shake a mouse at. Hell, I have five alone. I don't get rid of the old ones as fast as I used to because they're not as uh, obsolete as they used to be. So I have them all over the house that I can use. And when one breaks, I still have my brand new one. So, uh, but we're nerds. So we're total tech head nerds. Uh, that's the way my world works. Um, Oh yeah, the FCC. I still haven't gotten a hold of them yet, but I'm looking up the Historical Society today. If you want to look at cal.gov and look up the California Historical Society, this place is actually a national historic uh, landmark. So you guys have two different societies barreling down on your butts once you get a complaint in. The fences, the fire escape, which I could probably tell San Francisco Fire Department, um, just having the ladder uh, new does not mean that you don't have to pay attention to the fire escape. And it actually could be anti-Semitic if you don't take care of it because it's got stars of David on it. Because this was the first place that there were Jewish services in San Francisco. So you might want to take care of that. <sighs> yes, please like and sub. It helps. Then I can get a... Um, membership drive and God knows what I'd be doing on the membership thing. Trying to figure out how to make uh, emojis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Carrie Ann. Yes, no, it's, it depends on how old I am. Uh, I still know a lot about the 20s. Um, that was Cabaret. And that was when I was older because my mother wouldn't let me watch Cabaret. Go figure. Um, uh, and the whole uh, Al Pacino, <laughs> Al Capone thing, which was the 20s and speakeasies. I just loved the vibe back then. Uh, but I don't remember. It might have been watching Alien, believe it or not, like 79 that made me like uh, ultra modern. Because then it was Alien in 2001. I was 12. So sixth grade that year was the year that I was like, wow, let's go, go look at this stuff. And science fiction still doesn't do it for me. 
There is somebody screaming down the street though, so they could be a homeless person, unfortunately. They're not violent. Our homeless person, people don't even like to uh, acknowledge our existence, so it's more than heartbreaking. Um, let's see. That's not gonna help my, that's not gonna help my evil um, thing, but they close that door completely, so. Oh, yes, all of us uh, protesters are all independently owned and operated. I do not meet up with anybody else and have plans to protest this place with anybody else. Uh, we're lucky to have each other's messenger on Facebook. Mail, which is considered snail mail nowadays. But we don't plan, we don't split equipment. We don't have a uh, database of people where and when and why. We don't have PowerPoint plans for this. We don't all sit in a room somewhere talking about uh, freedom and playing with a whiteboard. We all do this of our own accord because we don't like what's going on. Nothing's wrong with that. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, why don't you guys start asking questions in there and demand answers? And if you really think that you can't get an answer because you'll wind up in a very undesirable place, then leave, because you should be able to ask a question. Humans are built that way. We're programmed to ask questions. So ask a question that's very, very, very minor. Put your toe in the lake and then see what happens. And if it doesn't work out, 727-266-5797, sptvfoundation.org. Hmm. Okay, that's that one. And yes, I will be a perfect uh, solicitor for Evernote. I've had it for since the beginning, and I love it. Marilyn and Kelly doing the commercials was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I don't have my wireless up in, oh, I don't have, okay. We don't have a Sea Org people here, so I'm not gonna do it. LRH died of a stroke. His body left him, he did not leave his body. Unless a stroke is counted as you leaving your body, but the stroke is caused by the brain, and that would mean that he would not go to the next plane of existence, a fully functioning brain. So that's a question to ask. What did he die of? They, I've heard you guys say that he died of natural causes. Technically, a stroke would be a natural cause. So would a heart attack. That just means that the uh, coroner doesn't have to have an autopsy on it. So that's the difference between natural and unnatural. Oh yeah, and I know some people don't like us referring to Osa all the time, but you know what? I protest my way. Hey Osa, our cops come to our development really fast because they're really nervous right now. It's spring and everything happens bad in spring. So stay away. It's probably a good idea. So. Oh, oh, you can be, I just, you're just fluffer, you're just a lover ways. That's why I didn't even think about asking you to be a mod. Since you're like, I think you're like my first person. Um, the fourth kind? Oh, is that a movie? <laughs> I love aliens. Didn't love Jaws. I was uh, 11, 12 when Jaws came out. And since I lived in Oakland, we called Alameda Amity. And then of course we found out that a great white can attack you from your knees down. So then I never went in the ocean again. And then you find out that the Fairlawns, because it's radioactive for some reason, sharks love that. So it's a great white breeding area, which is eight miles off the coast, I think. So yeah, anybody who's in the beach or in the water around here, we always think automatically as a tourist or didn't grow up here. <laughs> 
let's see what time. I'm almost on an hour. That's a good way. I'm, I'm starting to do hours. Uh, I would say that when the weather got better, but no, I'm actually someone who'd probably stay out longer in the winter. I have a sun hat I'm, I'm getting the brim like fixed on, but now I have to figure out what to do with the bob. That guy's got my, I've got to learn how to, so I can stick a, a pin in it. <laughs> Fluffer is at everybody. So it should be which one Fluffer uh, prefers the best. You don't pull the, I want you to be my mom. I do want them to be my mod, or them to be my mod, but you know, hey, world doesn't work the way you want it all the time. Let's see, one final jab to go. Um, do your friends and family try to get a hold of you? Do the people you think that would never talk to you again because you joined some strange society now beg for them to call them, text them, message them, write a rigged friggin' letter? You know, you could just take letterhead and chop it off and send it that way. Um, you can get forever stamps and then just hide them somewhere and use them literally forever. That's the way the post office works. Um, so if you have a desire to get a hold of people that you don't think will even talk to you again, you should try it. It'll be like a little, you know, game to see that if a person you call that you think would not be talking to you anymore and you called and the first thing they say is you're alive that should tell you something so that should give you an idea you should give yourself three strikes to get out of here one should be calling someone you wouldn't expect that would want you around in their world getting a hold of a party of your family that's not here but you really adored as a child and trying to get a hold of your family that are in here and telling them that you miss them and see what happens. Those are three very simple tests. They're not gonna make you fall apart. They're not gonna make you have pneumonia, which is curable nowadays. Actually, most pneumonia is curable. My mother had 14 times pneumonia. So you're not going to get sick and die if you walk out of the doors. The society will not fall apart uh, because you're one of a million, supposedly. That is uh, just impossible. Statistically impossible, mathematically impossible. It can't fall apart just because you walk outside of the door. Uh, San Francisco is an easy place to try to restart your life. A lot of people have come to San Francisco and restarted their lives by accident. We are built for that. We have the resources to cover that. And there is always... Oh God, I don't have it. Where is it? Big beautiful motorcycle. 727 266 5797. The SPTVFoundation.org. SPTVFoundation.com. Try that. That'll help you get out if you, want, if you want to. Nowadays, not much will happen to you. Paris opened up without him. They were supposed to be a big deal. So, supposedly you could tell because the lanyards are different than the day it opened, than when he recorded it. So, that's not anything we're doing with Photoshop. We actually don't want to like dwell on him. That and supposedly he doesn't run your society. Uh, he just, I guess, sits back and rakes in the money. And that was told by his own lawyers. So just think about those things for today. I'll be back tomorrow. And we can talk some more. And if I'm lucky, we will have another person here tomorrow morning. I didn't know about that until just now. So see, we are all independent. We are not ganged up to get you. We are not evil. We are not out to discredit everybody because we don't like you. And I've never known a Scientologist my whole life. So I am basing it on the things that I have read from sources that were on both sides. So it's not like I'm reading everything that has to do with Scientology or not to do with Scientology. That's called research. It's not hard. Research why you're not covered in the news and we're not covered in the news. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs>
Oh, Hannah, are you kidding? One of my best friend's brothers was dyslexic. It's, oh, and another friend of mine was dyslexic. She was badly dyslexic. Don't be, don't, don't even be embarrassed about what you have. It's something that will help you learn more. God, I think one of my cousins is dyslexic too. It sucks. Ah, okay, maybe we'll watch it. I know, but Papa Cat is at work. <laughs> he, he, he sort of mods. Um, I don't let him mod mod because, uh, um, because he's working. And uh, my joke is, is that he Do I need to get rid of them? So, yes, we should all totally respect Fluffer Squirrel. UK because they are awesome and they are the reason that I'm still here every day and Fuzzy Pink is becoming another one and my not Aunt Carrie Ann uh, she sounds and looks just like my aunt at her age uh, and I can finally say unfortunately we'll walk away from the front uh, my aunt has MS so it really does like put a soft spot in my heart that you remind me of my aunt Debbie so um, it's just the way it is, so me, me. <laughs> oh, cool. Good. Do you know what fluffer if, uh, fuzzy is that if you like do drive by is here, you can tell me she's been here. Because I never find her. I'm always doing the, the hot five first. So, and they take more and more time nowadays. And then I always get upset because, uh, lately, because they know how to pick on Marilyn. And that drives me nuts because she's such a great, com compassionate person. And mm, unfortunately, most compassionate people are like that. So that's why I say I'm not necessarily compassionate. I try to be. But I just don't have... I'm not vulnerable, so that's the problem. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> you suck. At... That's why people have like ten mods because one per they all suck at modding, but together they make a good moderator. I know I haven't I haven't offered myself to anybody either yet, but that's just because I'm trying to get my own phone figured out. Um... Oh, thank you, Rena Marie. Yes, I'll be out here. I'm trying to get make it to 1.30 now because of uh, traffic. My little old car had an issue with the long, uh, the late week traffic last week, so. Uh, which is funny because my car works perfectly because the guys at my dealership want it. So <laughs> they keep in perfect condition for me. So a 12 year old car or a 20 year old car is not supposed to last this long doing as many miles as I've done on it, so. Uh, we'll take one more look. Let's see, up, up, up at my pyramid. Look at my pyramid. I've loved that thing since I was a kid. I swear to God. And I don't think it's a historical landmark yet. And it should be because it's one of those things that's always in the, high, uh, the, the city line. And when the earthquake happened, one of our columnists for our city had a picture of it. And it had the uh, pyramid tilted. And it said, I'm fine. <laughs> What am I gonna see? Oh yeah, you're a mod. You're a mod now. That's the only thing I can sing. I can't sing. Um, yes, yes, definitely, Fuzzy. Thank you. <laughs> Fall in ordered? What? Oh, oh, I get it. I'm a little bit faster than Liz Ferris. <laughs> Sometimes I sit there with her too going, huh? And that's just because my family's not around me because they have the that same like humor as uh, you would know carry on because Portland is the epicenter of that weird ass humor. Um, and then I get to laugh at not getting it. So <laughs> I guess unfortunately now when I'm doing the Scientology thing, I get serious or you know, make the serious face. Arr. 
to this and then I can do a yes okay don't even talk about the hair I played with my curling iron <laughs> okay let's see uh, uh, oh I remember what the problem was so I want it to turn this way so that way yes it's windy um, Wow that okay since everybody else shows their stupid faces when the kids are coming back now I have to wait <laughs> You want to see? These are the kids that I had to teach. And he did a good parking job after that. So that's a good thing. I don't think he's driving home though. No, his friend's driving home. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, the Brinks truck left, so I can leave. Okay. <laughs> so. I was going to say what we're having for dinner tonight because we are so funny you can tell we're both nerds because we have the freezer full of uh, veggies mostly, you know, steamed veggies and um, uh, TV, not TV dinners, but TV pieces. So that and I have a big fish stick problem. Um, so we always talk about dinner at lunch, which is hilarious. Why can't I get this to stay? Oh, wait, I think I know why, because I'm turning the gimbal. Um, and my arms are short, so you get the close-up. Um, so yeah, the dinner. Uh, oh, watching everybody get to um, Austin and Florida, because everybody's going to Austin and Florida. <laughs> um, and I didn't know category one tornadoes were a big deal. You can tell I'm from here. Sort of like people who freak out at 4.1 earthquakes. So, <laughs> so, see, I can't, I can't, I can't do. I'll figure it out. I'm actually paying attention to things. I was, I was doing the uh, historical society thing uh, while I was having breakfast. So, <laughs> it's all it's old. I love that phrase. <laughs> Cult water. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so funny. And this is me, and you finally get to see it. I don't even have lipstick on. You get to see when I'm like giggling my little brains out is that I'm sitting there. I think the hardest thing to explain to people is that you laugh when you're uncomfortable and you laugh when you're awkward. And people always think you're being, you're laughing, laughing. <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> Because he was in the passenger seat. He said, I can parallel park. <laughs> hey, at least I have something to laugh about for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh. Okay, so yes, I would like Fluffer. I don't care what you have, dear, because you can be part of a team when I get a team together. So, <laughs> okay, guys, I really am going to end now because I can't get this. See, I keep turning my gimbal, and so my gimbal keeps turning with me. Let me see. Okay, wait. Uh, nope, see, it keeps going into the words. And I'm trying not to, I learned the other day not to go into the words. So, um, what was I gonna say? I don't know, I'm trying to get used to having me in a uh, picture. Because like the guy who works here, the head skater punk, he doesn't take very good pictures. He's really cute in person. <laughs> That's how you can remember him. But I haven't seen him lately. It's like a Scientology car, so he might be driving his wife's. This is a neighborhood to have nice cars. So uh, my parking expires in 10 minutes, so I did it perfectly. So everybody have a good night. Have fun watching, you know, Austin and um, uh, Cult Water. <laughs> Um, Dan walked to LA, I watched him today when I was getting dressed and he was very excited about Pearl Snappy um, picking him up, which was good because yesterday, oh my God, I was grabbing my pearls like crazy. That woman is beyond like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That's all you want to do when you, do, when you see her. <laughs> so it's fun. Um, and hopefully Natalie and Tony have arrived because, you know, they had to drive and uh, the bodyguard actually knows it. We talk at lunch. So he said it's not that far. So they have to go from. I can't remember anymore. God, I'm such a Californian. The rest of the world doesn't matter to me. Um, 
something to something. I swear I'm not blonde. My mother is blonde, so I can say that. Uh, even if it was from a bottle. So, uh, anyway, I'm badly now, okay, and my parking's gonna end. So I've gotta go. Uh, I'm actually gonna say it. I love you guys. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> but I'm a nerd. I'm supposed to like inanimate objects. Or, you know, people on, I've been on uh, chat since uh, IRC when it had 10 channels. Now, any real nerd will know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one, bye. <laughs> Fort Myers to Clearwater. Yeah, he said it wasn't that far. <laughs> so, okay, I'm leaving for real, bye.